Hello everyone, and welcome back. Here's what blew my mind recently. Tesla's Powerwall 3 can run your entire home during a blackout, including your air conditioning. But in Phase's new IQ10C, which costs nearly the same, can barely handle half that load. Yet smart homeowners are choosing Enphase over Tesla at record rates. Strange, isn't it? Well, stay with me, because what I'm about to reveal could save you thousands of dollars and years of regret. Welcome back to Integrate Sun, guys. Just this year alone, we've installed more than 500 battery systems across the country. We've seen these batteries perform miracles, and we've also seen them fail spectacularly when homeowners needed them most. Today, we're diving deep into the Tesla Powerwall 3 versus Enphase's brand new IQ10C. By the time we're done, you'll know exactly which system belongs in your home. And more importantly, you'll understand why that choice matters more than you ever imagined. Let's start with the fundamental question. How much power do you actually need when the grid goes down? Because here's where most people make their first costly mistake. The Tesla Powerwall 3 delivers 13.5 kilowatt hours of storage with 11.5 kilowatts of continuous power. Now, what does that actually mean for your daily life? It means you can simultaneously run your refrigerator, keep your lights on, power your internet for remote work, watch TV, and yes, keep your central air conditioning running all at the same time. That 11.5 kilowatts of continuous power isn't just a number on a spec sheet. It's the difference between maintaining your normal lifestyle during an outage and rationing power like you're living in a blackout. Click the link above to watch our full guide on Tesla Powerwall 3 later. Now, the Enphase IQ10C offers 10.08 kilowatt hours of storage with 7.08 kilowatts of continuous power. That's still substantial power, but here's where things get interesting. With 7.08 kilowatts, you're going to have to make choices during an outage. You can charge your electric vehicle or you can run your air conditioning, but you probably can't do both simultaneously. You can power your home office or you can run your pool pump, but again, you'll need to prioritize. Some experts describe the 10C as delivering about 75% of one Powerwall 3's capability, and these numbers confirm exactly that. But before you assume Tesla is the obvious winner, there's a crucial factor that changes everything. You can also watch the full guide on the IQ10C by clicking the link above. After installing both systems, we've gathered performance data that reveals some surprising truths. However, I need to be completely transparent with you about the IQ10C. It's so new that widespread installation data is still limited. Just last month, we had a customer in Texas whose Powerwall 3 kept their entire home operational for 16 hours during a storm. They were running their heat pump, refrigerator, and even managed to work from home with full internet connectivity. The system delivered 12.9 kilowatt hours out of its total 13.5 capacity, which translates to an impressive 95% real-world efficiency. What makes Tesla's performance so consistent is their integrated hybrid inverter design. You can learn more about this design in our Tesla Inverter Full Guide. The six built-in optimizers handle different sections of your roof independently, and we typically see efficiency ratings between 96 and 97% in real installations, which actually matches Tesla's laboratory claims. Now here's where Inphase's design philosophy becomes compelling. While we don't have extensive field data yet on the 10C specifically, Enphase's modular architecture has a proven track record with their previous battery generations. The theoretical advantage is significant. If one battery unit fails, the others continue operating independently. This redundancy principle has been validated with earlier Enphase battery systems. Unlike Tesla's integrated approach, where an inverter failure can shut down your entire backup capability, Enphase's modular design means individual component failures don't compromise your entire system. According to Enphase's specifications, the 10C delivers 96% DC efficiency and 90% AC round-trip efficiency. These are laboratory numbers and will need more installation time to verify real-world performance. However, Enphase's track record suggests their published efficiency ratings are typically conservative. They're the most quoted battery brand on major solar platforms, and their micro-inverter technology has proven reliable across hundreds of thousands of installations nationwide. Now moving on to installation complexity. Here's what we've learned from hundreds of installations. Tesla's integrated design actually simplifies the electrical work once you understand the system. Since the Powerwall 3 combines the battery, inverter, and backup capabilities in one unit, our installation crews can typically complete the entire setup in one to two days. 
depending on your home's electrical complexity. The backup switch technology enables true whole home backup without the need for a separate sub-panel. However, there's an important limitation. It only works with 200 amp electrical services. If your home has a 400 amp service, which is becoming more common in newer construction, Tesla's backup switch won't be compatible. Enphase takes a completely different approach with their modular design. Each 10C battery installs independently and can be tested separately. If you already have Enphase micro inverters, adding battery storage typically takes our crew about four hours from start to finish. The new IQ meter collar is particularly impressive and represents a game-changing innovation. This meter socket adapter, similar to Tesla's backup switch, eliminates the need for a backup sub-panel entirely. What makes this revolutionary is that it acts as an intelligent transfer switch while significantly reducing installation complexity. The meter collar isn't just another battery controller, it has a much smaller footprint and dramatically less installation complexity. By eliminating the need for backup subpanels and extensive rewiring, installation labor costs can be reduced by 30 to 40%. This also creates a much cleaner, more aesthetically pleasing installation. The challenge is that meter collars require utility company approval since they're installed behind the utility meter. Tesla has a head start in this area, but Enphase is expanding coverage rapidly. Not every scenario is a good fit for a meter collar, but when it works, it's transformative for both cost and aesthetics. The meter collar enables whole home backup, meaning all loads in your home can be powered during an outage. However, due to the 10C's lower power output, you'll likely need two units to achieve meaningful whole home backup capability. Remember, the Powerwall's continuous output is about 60% higher than the 10C. Speaking of aesthetics, let's talk about the physical footprint, because this matters more than you might think. The Enphase 10C measures 2 feet wide, 2.5 feet tall, and almost 15 inches thick. From an Enphase subreddit group, a user reports, they're thick but are denser storage than prior jeans and take up less wall space. On the other hand, Tesla's Powerwall 3 measures 2 feet wide, 3.5 feet tall, but only 8 inches thick. That slimmer profile makes it much easier to fit on a garage sidewall or find an unobtrusive mounting location. The sleeker design is more aesthetically pleasing, though the importance of looks varies from person to person. Both systems can achieve clean, professional-looking installations, but the simplified wiring and smaller component count possible with meter collars gives Enphase an edge in overall installation aesthetics. Perhaps Enphase's biggest installation advantage is expandability. You can add additional batteries later without shutting down your existing system. Tesla requires a complete system shutdown for any expansion, which means you'll lose backup power during the upgrade process. The battery software experience matters more than most people realize because you'll interact with it daily. With Tesla's app, you get real-time power flow visualization, historical performance data, and their Stormwatch feature that automatically prepares your system for weather-related outages. If you own a Tesla vehicle, the integration is seamless, showing both your car and home energy usage in one place. However, Tesla's simplicity comes with trade-offs. You can't monitor individual system components or diagnose performance issues at a granular level. For most homeowners, this isn't a problem, but it can be frustrating when you want deeper insights into your system's performance. Enphase offers enterprise-level monitoring that gives you unprecedented visibility into your system. You can track individual battery health, monitor each microinverter's performance, and even receive predictive maintenance alerts before problems become failures. The web-based platform provides advanced analytics and detailed reporting that goes far beyond what Tesla offers. For technically-minded homeowners who want complete control and visibility, this level of detail is invaluable. Let's address the elephant in the room. Cost. A complete Tesla Powerwall 3 installation typically ranges from $15,000 to $18,000. This includes the battery unit, integrated inverter, backup switch, and professional installation. When you add additional batteries, the per unit cost decreases because you're sharing the inverter and installation complexity. From a pure cost effectiveness standpoint, Tesla delivers better value at roughly $1,300 to $1,500 per kilowatt of continuous power. A single Enphase 10C system costs between $13,000 and $18,000, including the battery, combiner unit, and meter collar. But here's the critical consideration. For meaningful whole home backup power, you'll likely need two units, which brings your total investment to $26,000 to $36,000. 
That's nearly double Tesla's cost for equivalent power output. However, here's where the value proposition gets more complex. Enphase provides a 15-year warranty on the 10C, while Tesla offers a 10-year warranty on the Powerwall 3. That's 50% more warranty coverage, which translates to better long-term value and peace of mind. When you factor in the extended warranty period, the total cost per year of coverage narrows considerably. However, if you already have Enphase microinverters, the integration savings are significant. You can avoid the $3,000 to $5,000 cost of new inverters, and the simplified installation can reduce labor costs by several thousand dollars. And based on our extensive installation experience and real customer feedback, here's how to make the right choice for your specific situation. Choose Tesla Powerwall 3 if you prioritize maximum power output and cost effectiveness. If you have large appliances like heat pumps or five-ton air conditioning units, Tesla's 11.5 kilowatts of continuous power is often the only option that makes sense. You'll also want Tesla if you're installing a completely new solar system and want the simplest possible setup. Choose Enphase IQ10C if you already have Enphase microinverters and want the smoothest possible upgrade path. You'll also prefer Enphase if you have a complex roof layout with significant shading issues, since the microinverter architecture handles these challenges better than string inverters. Enphase is also the right choice if you value system redundancy over raw power output. The modular design means that individual component failures won't compromise your entire backup capability. The right choice depends on your specific situation, but both systems represent solid investments in your home's energy independence. The key is matching the system capabilities to your actual needs and budget. So which system sounds right for your home? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let me know what your biggest energy concerns are. I will read every comment and often reply with personalized advice. If you're ready to move forward, check out our last video on battery sizing in the description. It'll help you determine exactly how much power and storage you need based on your specific usage patterns. And don't forget to watch our detailed guides for both the Tesla Powerwall 3 and Enphase IQ10C. Those links are also in the description. Hit that subscribe button if this analysis was helpful. Next week, we're talking about solar panel warranty and everything you need to know about that. You won't want to miss it.